Hey everyone, it's Germ. Today I have a Rush Defense in Bad Company 2. I'm going to be using the G36 uh, LMG and I'm going to be playing as a medic as I am prone to do. Um, and I'm just going to try to talk about the gameplay today. I don't really have any questions or topics to talk about. This is another pretty long match. Uh, so I'm going to break it up into two parts, whether or not I upload them both in the same day or whether I spread them out over a couple days, I have not decided yet. So I was trying to uh, get the jump on the chopper, but they already had that thing in the air by the time I got up there. And I'm not awesome at picking these things out of the sky with uh, the ground mounted rockets. So fortunately for me, they decided to go ahead and crash it into the water. So that kind of makes it easier on me. Of course, now they're over there. So I'm going to see if I can pick them with a grenade. This is one of my least favorite spots in all of Bad Company to defend is this first A and B. Um, because it just it feels like the other team can just rain death on you from the opposing hill. Uh, now it's hard to assault too, but it, it it feels like it's a lot harder to defend than it is to assault. I know when I play attack on this map, I always like to play recon and sit up on the hills. So I'm going to see if I can wipe out a couple people on the hills before they see me. Because of course I'm a sitting duck. And I'm going to try to pick off the chopper because it's probably going to try to fly around the back side of the island and land as they are wont to do. Uh, and they are going down. Awesome. So I'll run over there and see if we can clean up any of the survivors of the helicopter crash. Alright, well if anyone's down there, they are hiding themselves pretty well. But, yep, looks like we got somebody. Hello. Bye-bye. I'm going to guess there's more. Yeah, there's more than one person. I thought so. Let's see if I'll run over here and get the drop on them. No pun intended. All right. We're doing okay. This server, uh, it's a custom server, so it has more tickets than I believe we're supposed to have. I don't think the other team was supposed to start out with like 190 tickets. So quite honestly, I don't remember if I can jump up here or not. Uh, not quite. Quite honestly, I don't see there being much chance. Wow. Did that revive work? It did. Uh, I don't see there being much chance of uh, us holding this, quite honestly. I think we're at least going to get pushed back to the next point because... Uh, I mean, there's just, I don't see there's any way we can hold it with that many tickets. I mean, sooner or later, they're just going to push through. Uh, if that means they have to fly a C4 loaded chopper into us 30 or 40 times, they have enough tickets they can do it. So, uh, all I'm going to try to do as a medic is keep my boys alive. Now, when you're attacking, medics are very important because they get you those tickets back. I think they're important when you're defending, too, because you need to keep up a strong defensive wall. Uh, and the more people you have waiting to respawn, I mean, you got like those 10 second windows, 10, 15 second windows where it's going to be very easy for the other team to push through if you're not on top of it. So that's one of the reasons I like to play a medic because I play the objective. I'm not interested in uh, big KDs. You know, I'm just interested in the team winning and whatever I have to do to help the team win. So uh, right now, my only job is to... Well, right now, I'm kind of taking upon myself the job of taking down this chopper because for some reason, no one seems to be that interested in doing it. Uh, when I see a helicopter, I think everyone should just try to take it down immediately, but maybe that's just me. But as a medic, uh, with the exception of some of these assault things like this when no one else is doing much, I'm surprised it took that long for them to kill me. Uh, my job is just to keep my team alive. It's not to do anything super fun or fancy or blow up a bunch of buildings or try to go for a 5KD or anything like that. Uh, my job is just to keep everyone up and going. Uh, I'm see, I've got little health things all over the map. People need healing, so as soon as I reload, I will go attend to that. Uh, I'm starting to like the G36 a lot more. I used to always use the saw in my first video. Uh, I posted doing Bad Company 2, I was using the saw, if you recall. Uh, but I've started using the G36 a little bit more, and I'm actually starting to prefer it. Uh, for a couple of reasons, namely the scope. I really like how the red dot scope looks. I know that's kind of a dumb reason, or the ACOG scope, but I do. I just like how it looks. Uh, I like how the weapon looks. The G36 has always been one of my favorite weapons. In Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, I always used the G36 with double tap. Like, that was my rifle. So uh, that and the P90 with double tap, which, of course, I think the P90 was probably half of everybody's favorite gun in Modern Warfare. But... Uh, Oh man, narrowly missed him. But the G36 in Bad Company 2 uh, is awesome, or the MG36, sorry. 
is really awesome. It is extremely accurate. Uh, it's kind of like the M60 at least, it feels like, but with a higher firing rate um, and about the same in stopping power, I guess, but come on, Wookiee, wake up. All right, we got people on the island. That's not good. Uh, as soon as they get a presence on the island and they can start spawning, we are in trouble, and it looks like they are because it looks like they are about to plant B. Yep, B is planted. So now we get to watch and see how many people rush B and how many people just try to get kills. And look, no one's rushing B because everyone's trying to, I don't know, play their kill-death ratio or something. It's kind of frustrating. But I am going to try. Thank you. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> you're not going to stab me. Man, it took a lot for him to die. Uh, but yeah, it seems like not everyone's playing the objective. I might die. Oh no, I died. It was destroyed. I was very close to uh, disarming it. But oh well, we still have A, but I think... Let's see how many tickets they have when I respawn. I'm betting that they still have enough tickets that they're going to be able to push through. Um, yeah, 143 tickets. I, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way we're going to hold this. I don't want to sound uh, overly negative, but come on. This is this is a little ridiculous. Uh, we're not doing a bad job of playing, but they have what I believe is the attacking advantage, and they have the time advantage. They can do this for quite some time. Um, stuff like this. They've only used up about 40 of their tickets, and they have already put a pretty big beating on us. Um, so... I guess all we can hope to do is beat the morale down a little bit, drag this out as long as possible. I mean, miracles happen. I'm not going to say that there's no way we can win this, but I am not holding out a whole lot of hope right now, uh, or at least for this section. Uh, as we move farther back, I think it gets a lot easier to defend. But I mean, actually, you know, maybe that's the point of the map is that it starts out really hard, but as we move back into the comfort of our town, it gets easier. Um, I don't know if that's just me projecting what I think the map is like onto what I think the designers of the map wanted, but that's what it seems like, or it seems like that's a very plausible explanation. Oh, we got someone dead over there. With this many people dying uh, on a map like this, it is, or a match like this, it can be kind of hard to keep track of who still needs to be revived. I mean, people keep dying all over the place. Like, I just came from over here, and if I don't get to them quick enough, they're laying down. I keep having to respawn or revive the Wookiees because they are sitting why on earth can I not run up that hill I feel like I run up that hill quite a lot anyway maybe I need lightweight or something to do that oh my goodness I can't keep up there's too much supply or too much demand not enough supply of me I see a couple other medics but I don't see too many people running around I mean this is bad I've missed it was like five or six revives lately that's not good uh, that's not what my team is counting on me for wake up where are you? There you are. Crap. Where is he? Shoot. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, I've missed, I think it's like six revives now. Uh, charge has set it alpha. No! Come on, everybody. Move, move, move. No one's moving. Look at the map. No one is moving. It's like they don't want to win. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Oh, gosh. I don't know if anyone... Unless anyone else gets on it, I don't think there's any way I can uh, win this now. Or anyway, the team can uh, disarm A because it's been going for so long. I'm going to try to put smoke on it, I guess. Um, nope. All right. All right, guys. Well, in the second part of this video, I will pick up now that we're back at the next set of MCOMs. Uh, I'll resume the video there. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and continue on to part two when it's uploaded.